find the average rate of change of q of x equals 1 over 2x plus 1 on the interval from a to a plus h. For the average rate of change, we're going to continue using the same formula that we have been, though because this function is called q, we're going to use q instead of f, so it's going to be q of a plus h minus q of a all over h. So what we need to do now is evaluate q at a plus h and at a. Let's start with a plus h. Our function is 1 over 2x plus 1, but instead of x, we're going to put in a plus h. Then we've got minus 1 over 2 times a plus 1 all over h. What I've done here is I have substituted a plus h in for x in the first one, and then I have substituted a in for x in the second one. All right. Now, in the first fraction, I am going to use the distributive property in the denominator to distribute this 2 to the a and h. So it's going to be 2a plus 2h plus 1. And then the other denominator is just 2a plus 1, all over h. Now, to simplify this complex fraction, we're going to have to multiply the top and bottom by the LCD. There are two fractions within the complex fraction, and they have two denominators that don't share any factors. So the LCD is going to be their product. And so we need to multiply the top and bottom by 2a plus 2h plus 1 times 2a plus 1. which looks thoroughly complicated, but just like the other problems, we will end up with some cancellation that will make the final answer a little bit nicer. So we need to distribute this to each of the two fractions. In the first fraction, the 2a plus 2h plus 1s will cancel, and that leaves us with 1 times 2a plus 1, which gives us 2a plus 1. Then we are subtracting the product that we get next. In the second one, the 2a plus 1s are going to cancel, and then that leaves us with 1 times 2a plus 2h plus 1. And then in the denominator, we're going to have h times 2a plus 2h plus 1 times 2a plus 1. Now, when we distribute the subtraction in the numerator, this is going to give us 2a plus 1 minus 2a minus 2h minus 1 all over h times 2a plus 2h plus 1 times 2a plus 1. And we've got some canceling that we can do. We've got a positive and a negative 2a. We've got a positive and a negative 1. When we cancel those out, that leaves us with negative 2h in the top, all over that same denominator. And then we can cancel out the h in the top and bottom. That is a common factor that the top and bottom share. And so that leaves us with our final answer, negative 2 over 2a plus 2h plus 1 times 2a plus 1, and this gives us our final answer.